guys? How you doing? FM Daly and welcome to We're All Wednesday and we. Now, we weren't sure when we were going to come back, but this time, guys, we're back for our final. But you went out of the FA Cup and you went out of the League Cup and you don't get a final in the league. So, it's, it's, it's the big one. Um, Papa John's Trophy. Bam. Wow, we are there. We are in the final of the Papa John's Trophy. Everybody get excited. I'm sure you already are. Pretty big deal. But what does make it a big deal is that we are playing a crew. Oh, it's the Dale Derby. Dale Derby. Oh, fourth time we've seen that this year, Dale. Doesn't matter how many times you see it, we all still love it. And yes, it is the Dale Derby going in. We could, we could win a trophy, smash it out of the park. And hopefully in this episode, we can also get promotion. It's going to be tough. I'm probably going to have to, to hopefully get through. But yes, in this in this episode, we're hoping to get everything all in one. Or it'll be a very disappointing episode. It's one of the two. Before we get any further, let's get her in. Kelly! And before we get into any of the uh, the results, this is more important, I think, right here. Is Sheffield Wednesday chairperson looking to step aside? Sheffield Wednesday believed to be subject of a takeover bid. I've not heard anything yet, but Sky Sports News are telling me it's so. Chancery is looking to sell the club to a local investor. So we will see what happens here. Always means that my job's at risk, but it's the first one here at Wednesday. Maybe we are in for a big financial takeover. Maybe you'll lose your job. So, it's all hope for the first one, yeah? Big financial takeover. How have we been doing? We left you on a crew game. We're coming back. We're 1 2. The game after crew was a 1 1 draw against Northampton in this Papa John's Trophy tournament. You do know that we went through, but we went through on penalties. We, gee, To be honest, it wasn't really very good of us. We, we should have gone through anyway. Winning penalty was hit by Nathan Baker. It was a good penalty, to be fair. And we got through. We then played them in the league, and we won 1-0. We kept the winning run going, which we've kept going all the way through since we last saw you. The league is looking pretty much in our hands. So I'm hoping in this episode, we might have to skip a game in the middle. It might be a three-game episode, but we want to get the final... Coffin in the nail and us into the championship. We beat Warsaw 3-1, a Patterson hat-trick. Oh, did I say, by the way, it was Patterson who scored in the Northampton game. Then we went to Wigan. Of course, it was Patterson again. He's on absolute fire. So we're going to hope he can take that into this game here against Crew, And then we're going to see, hopefully, one of these two games. We might even win the league. So we will bring them to you as well. Or at least one of them. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Big game here at Wembley, and I am, I am. It's very nice. It's very nice here at Wembley. Probably should have worn a suit, but I'm more of a tracky manager this time. It's not a big, it's not the FA Cup. If it was the FA Cup, I'd be wearing it. If it was the Championship Playoff Final, I'd be wearing it. Not today. We go now here at the Papa, John, Papa John's Trophy. We've seen this team. It's exactly the same team, basically, that plays in the league, except for one player. Owen Dell is on the bench and Mandarin on the bench as well. For us, it's, it's our first team, but with our cup goalkeeper. The cup goalkeeper is Wild Smith. He is in, in goal for us. No Clark Salter on the starting game. We've got Dunkley and Gibson, who've been very good in the last few games. Palmer playing on the left. Carvalho. Phillips and Lowry playing just behind uh, with Windass and Longman. All in the three. Callum up front. It's easy, right? Oh, look at Wembley. Look at it. Uh -uh, it's not quite It's not quite how I remembered it. It's a bit smaller. But yes, here we are for this big fixture. Look at our recent form. Win, draw. Win, win, win. Got a good feeling for it, right? You've got to believe as we walk out here at Wembley. Look at the boys feeling it. National Anthem's going off. Let's get it, boys. Let's absolutely get it. Kick off. Straight into the action. And it's going to be us. It's going to be us with the corner. Let's get an early goal, boys. As Windass throws it in to Gibson. Ho, ho, ho. Smashed that out of the park. That's exactly what we wanted early on here in the game against Crew. We're 1-0 up and everybody is screaming for us. Windass puts the ball in beautifully. And what a header from the boy on loan from Everton. Should we try and sign this boy? Remember, like, subscribe, do all the beautiful stuff. But also, comment, let me know what you think. Should we be signing him? Half time, 1 0. Nothing else happened after the second minute. But what you can see is eight shots for us, five on target, 0 0.95 goal XG. But more importantly, they've not had a sniff. They've had less of the ball, still a decent amount, but not enough to do anything with. Let's get into the second half and tell the boys to keep going. Kick off for the second half. And I pointed at them. I told them, I said, look, if you do not do your jobs in this second half, you'll throw away the trophy. Let's win this competition. Let's take the trophy home. 
Not now. I thought we'd done so well. They haven't even had a shot. The first shot is going to be from Finney. It's going to be a free kick. It's hit well. Ooh. <laughs> Edge of the seat stuff, that. We brought on Barry. We brought on Barry for Patterson, who was doing nothing in the game. So we thought maybe that's an opportunity for him. And we've got the ball and we're coming forward. No, we are not. Johnson's taking it off us. Get the ball back, boys. Get the ball back. We have, we have, we have. <laughs> I don't know why I have to say it three times. That's just the nerves coming out. Because I really do want to win this competition. It'd be a nice one to win, wouldn't it? It'd be great to get a trophy as Bree takes it down the right-hand side. He's been on absolute assist form this season. Let's do it. Let's just do it, boys. Give us the trophy now. Give us the trophy now. Just pass it along. Tell, tell crew to go home. Get back on the get back on the train. You know, the anyone remember the crew train? Choo-choo. Oh, they can get back on the crew train right now and they can head off home because at 2-0, we're not throwing this one away. I mean, that is dangerous words, but I'm, I'm sticking with it. I don't think we will. Go on, Longbin. I didn't give you enough credit there. But they're back and they're going forward, playing it long. Dunkley is going to deal with that all day. Dale is on for them, by the way, as it goes long to Barry. He's done it. Oh, it's three. Boy, I've got this trophy in the bag. It's the first time we've probably played the first team in it. Uh, what a finish. From the young Barry there, putting it away from... I don't know why he's shooting from that far away, to be honest. He could have taken it further in, slid it around the keeper. But no, not for him. Larry, who's just about to come off the ball, puts him through. And oh, yes, son. Oh, just a bit of ice in that. A bit of icing on it. Oh, we're ready. Are we ready to see it? I'm ready to see it, boys. Let's bring it on. Here it is. There we are. Look at us walking up to take the trophy. It's, it's only a really small trophy. It's not the most impressive trophy. Look at them. If anything, the ref looks fuming that we've won there. A bit, a bit annoyed by us. There's Palmer taking the hand shakers. I lift the trophy uh, because I'm... No, I don't. It's obviously Palmer lifting the trophy for Sheffield Wednesday. Here we go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, look at Wembley going mental for us. We're all Wednesday, ain't we? We got the first trophy in the bag. It's a 3-0 thrashing of crew. It is the development of Sheffield Wednesday as we walk around the pitch here covered in blue and white. We've done it, boys. Well done to us. Trophy in the bag. Great performances all round here as well. Barrier 7-5, Windass 7-5, seven, 7-2, seven, sevens. But this is where you win the game, isn't it? I've been saying all along it's where you win the game. Gibson, Dunkley and Bree all over eight. Larry as well. Well done, boys. We lift the trophy. We are EFL Trophy winners. Sheffield Wednesday living the dream. The squad have been awarded £100,000 for winning the trophy. The medals go to all the boys. Every single one of them. Even the guys who played barely anything. George Hurst there getting a medal in there. Ryan Longman. There's no one else in there who doesn't deserve There's no one who doesn't deserve one. All deserve it. Sheridan says well done to our spirit. We've done well here boys and hopefully we can push on now in the league and take ourselves to that next level which will be the championship. The rumours of the takeover persist. It keeps going but still not heard anything yet. No transfer embargo yet. Hopefully it won't happen over the summer and ruin everything as we try and get through the championship next season. Through the championship might be a bit tough. But, you know, we, we, we surely we'll be there. Okay, guys. So, we are back for the game against Wickham. We can get promotion in this game. The game you missed was against the one and only Wimbledon. We won 3-1. It was a great performance from Carvalho. The, day, the, the difference today is that we can't play those players. They were injured. It's only three days ago. So, we're playing a pretty big, different team. Looking at everything we've got. A win today. With Sunderland playing Northampton and being 12 points behind us, possibly, with one game to go. If Sunderland lose today, guys, we go up as, as champions, I think. So, this is pretty big. Let's go. Loads of enforced changes for this game. Dawson starts in goal. Palmer, who is not fully fit, really. But we just didn't actually have enough right backs, which is a position we've had loads this season. He's going to have to play. And uh, Palmer... Uh, it's like I say, with Clark Salter, Baker, who's had to come in. Pring, who's had to come in, not fully fit. Adenarin, who does not get many games for us, is in. Phillips, Longman for Jimoto, Castillo. Passing up front, as per usual right now. The bench is looking rather weak, but we've got to do what we can do. We're playing Wickham Wanderers, their team. They work well as a unit. Well, Adebayo, Joe, what a player. It's a lie, isn't it? Shocking for Wednesday, wasn't he? Yeah. Kick off. I didn't want to put any pressure on the players by telling them, you know, we can go up, we can get promotion today. I just wanted the game to kick off and I just want us to win. Well, hopefully we can win from a corner because Fujimoto throws it in. It's, ooh, it's, 
The Wigan players seem to just bring it down. He just brought it down in his box. Thought, ah, oh, no issues here. Fushimoto, Patson, 1 0. No, yes! No linesman issues. You always look straight to the linesman. That's all you do in this game is score a goal and look to the linesman. Well, no need to look today because Patson has scored a goal. A big boot away. And I thought, wow, well, we've not made the most of that corner. But as Baker plays it to Cox, Salter out to Fushimoto. What a header in. And Patson, he has been a beast this season. Back, Palmer throw in. It's us going forward. The positives are there as Palmer clips it to the back post of Castillo. You better believe it, boys. This is better than I ever thought it would be. We're 2-0 up with 20 minutes gone, 21 minutes gone. Way better than I thought it would be. We're playing really, really well. Another fantastic signing from me. I need to get out of my own tush there. But what a signing Castillo's been. I think he's been so good. He's scoring goals. He's assisting. He's done everything we've asked him to do this season. He's even heading it in at the back post, which was not what we were asking him to do. But he's done it anyway. And Come on. As you can see here, still... Oh. Ah, Sunderland have taken the lead, so that's not perfect for us. Sunderland have taken the lead in their game, but Wigan, on the other hand, are losing. So it looks like promotion could be there, but probably not the title. But here we go. We're still back in, and it's Longman who has it now. Looks inside to Patterson. Doesn't win the header, and that's not what we need. We don't need to concede. We've seen it before. You saw it in the episode, just a, a, a couple of... Uh, a couple of days ago, really, it was um, the game where we just threw away a lead. We don't need to FM ourselves here. We need to get a third. As Fujimoto plays it into Patterson. He's gone round him. Oh, oh! Great defending. Absolutely stunning defending. Shocking finishing, it has to be said. But great finish. Um, no, great finish. Oh, I'm talking absolute rubbish because I'm disappointed by that. As Castillo goes down the left-hand side. Plays it back to Pring. He's doing well to stay fit here. As Castillo has a chance. Oh, we're still going. We're still going. Here we go. It's one of those where you kind of just want there to be no highlights. But there's low. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. Watch the flag fly. He's not. Oh, he looked offside by an absolute mile. But we are 3-0 up. Castillo once again. And I can't wait to see this one for the offside. What have I got wrong here? Am I really badly wrong? It's got... Oh, he looks off. It's got to be very, very tight on the back post there. But we'll take it. We will take it. Here we go. This is a better angle for us. He's on. He is on. Brilliant linesman in. Absolutely. I never question him. Half time. 3 nil up. We can't throw that away, surely. Straight away, we're going. Straight away in the second half. We're just, we're just going. And we're giving it away. And that's not what we need to see as Gape. What a horrid name. Has it in the midfield. We need to get the ball here, boys. I don't want to. I don't want to concede straight away in the second half. Could be though. O'Brien is through one on one with the goalkeeper Dorset. Oh, psh, don't doubt him. Don't doubt him, boys. Not even enough time to check how Sunderland are doing. We're back again, and uh, and it's going. Look, what a kick that is! As Baker heads it, uh, he's done really well to be fair to Baker since we said you know you've probably not got a future here. Patterson has he got a future here? He's making the future himself. It's 22 for the season now for Patterson. He's in front of the Wickham fans. It's 4 0. And if anybody remembers the last time we jumped out of League One and you want to just go into your head and figure out who we played on that last game of the season, you know. You know where we got promotion. You know it's at Hillsborough and you know who it is against. Is history repeating itself? It's going. It's got it down the right. Just dinks it in. And nothing coming from it apart from Gapey. Uh, into Walker, back to Scoen, who's got too much time and space. I don't know what we're really doing here. As he dinks it in, it's got to be. It isn't, but it should be. It isn't. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. What is this life? We're making a couple of subs, but Scoen is putting it in. And it's gone wide anyway. It doesn't matter. Subs coming on. Corbinu is coming on. And also Galvin has come on. They're coming forward. Just so you know, to wait a few minutes as well. We're trying to bring on Alex Hunt. Uh, but Adebayo, they're playing it into Thompson. has gone over the top and he's got way too much space. Freeman, slow. Very slow as we cover that with ease. 4-0 for, for with three minutes to go. This is kind of a pointless highlight as well because we're pretty confident that we should uh, be walking away with this game. 4-0, you know, it's a long highlight so you might see a goal which would be disappointing to concede. But it won't. Nope. It's over. It is over. Now we've got to see what the other games say for us. Two goals from Patterson, two goals from Castillo. 4-0 win. Boys, 
We're up, boys. That is so important. We are up. Promotion was secured today against Wigan because Wigan didn't do enough. That means we are up, but it does mean in the next game, if we can win, we will also be promoted as champions. Do you want to see it? It's an extended last game of the season. Let's do. Promoted to the championship, but we're not ending there. Come on, boys. This is not where we end. We only end when we go up as champions. Edwards praised by the Sheffield Wednesday faithful. That is all of you right now. The board praises me. It feels like the best day in the world. Prings happy. Defoe's happy. Club's happy. Everybody is happy. But the only way that I'll be happy is if we go up as champions. Where's that next game? When do we get into it? You know what? So Sunderland played the day before we did and they lost to Preston, meaning we didn't even need to play, boys. We have done the double. We are champions of League One. We have done it. The players deserved it. You deserved it. We deserved it. I think all of this deserves a like down there and a subscribe and pass it all on. Boys, we've done enough. We don't need to go any further today. You don't need to see the next game. You know what we do need to see? A big, big Big summer of transfers, so it's going to be a huge task over the summer. Get down there into the comments, let me know what you think we should do next season. Because, boys, we are making our way into the championship as champions. Come on!